First of all, I want to say hello, and second, I want to say I hope everyone's safe. I certainly do appreciate everyone staying at home. That is crucial to get the curve down of the COVID virus um, so that we can mitigate any damage that we have. But staying at home is crucial. And wash your hands and stay at social distance six feet one from one another. So thank you for doing that. And please, everyone, this is something we're going to have to do for a short period of time to make sure that people don't get infected with the virus. Even though you're asymptomatic, you may not have no complications at all, you still may be the carrier of a virus. And then you may interact with another person and pass that virus to them, which could, could be detrimental to that person. So it's crucial at this time to do that. But I'll take time out and thank you also to our health carers. You know, right now it's a lot going on in the health care, as you see in new studies in New York City and the state of Washington, all over the country how the virus is putting a stress on the healthcare providers in those areas, and more likely it will do the same thing in our area. So I ask you that you be uh, mindful of them and think about them also. Our first responders also will be in front line with this virus. And also the people who have been our school teachers have done a great job to acclimate our children in education to, to continue their school year. And then those people at the grocery store, I mean, they allowed us the opportunity to have groceries. You don't need to go in the grocery store to shop. You need to go to the grocery store with the intent to buy something that you need and get in out quick. And make sure you maintain that social distance between one another in the checkout line or in the store. Just go in and buy what you need and come on out. Then our restaurants doing takeout, they've changed in the way they do business and some of our restaurants really need your support. So go through the drive-in and pick up your, um, your food and get through. And remember our farmers who now the plant time is planting. So be mindful of them. And they'll take time out and thank our town staff who's been there for you to help you get along with things like that. And finally, I want to take time out and thank our churches. They have changed the way that we have worship. Instead of coming on site into the sanctuary to worship God, they have found other means through the social media or electronic media to have that worship service go out and we're very grateful for that. And I encourage you, if your church does not have that, or if it does have that, please participate. And those people who don't have internet connection, call up a friend and so they can listen through the phone. Have those conversations through the phone and bar stand. And now's the time I'll ask all those who believe in Christ, which I do, which I confess, that we take time out and pray. This is a time that we need to get on our knees and ask God to heal this land, this virus. And I think if we do all those things, I believe that we can mitigate the virus per se, and that we can live a healthy life, going back to normal, hopefully in the next few months, that we can come out and celebrate one another. Our goal is, and hopefully by the time we have a college festival, and at that time we'll have a great joyous celebration. So thank you for what you do. I'll try to continue in contact with you guys. If there's anything that I can do, call us, or anything in town can do, call us. Again, stay home and be safe. Thank you.